Hi, this is Dr. Frederick. I just uh, have a question from a student about uh, using StatCrunch to uh, do some regression models. So we have a, a linear, a quadratic, an exponential, and a autoregressive second order regression uh, to perform uh, in, in StatCrunch. Uh, StatCrunch really is not nearly as nice as Excel, but you know we're using this and, and it's good to have some flexibility. I have some lectures uh, on, on doing all these things in Excel uh, that I'll attach as part of this prob uh, response to the student. But here are the data for this problem. Now, I've already got things opened up so the student's name won't show on uh, the internet. And uh, so, But if you're not sure how to do it, you click that, it opens up a table. You click another icon in there and it says open and stack crunch. So that's what we've done. Okay, so now we're just going to make a variable called, uh, I'll call it your digit. And basically the data for the year, the x value, is x is the number of years after 1980. Okay. So we'll come over here and we'll do years after 1980. And that will be our x value for the linear regression. So let's go ahead and do the, the linear regression. Okay, so uh, we're going to do um, regression, simple linear, and then our x variable is our your digit and our oil reserves are, are is the y value and then we'll just hit calculate and you see here we get the intercept of 362 and then the slope of 16 so basically take um, if you want to get your output is 363 plus 16 times the year okay that's your linear and then for the quadratic we're going to end up with a multiple regression and so we'll need the x value squared. We have x and x squared. And so in StatCrunch, the way you do this is um, you just select these data and then you transform them. And you say, okay, I'll, it's not very intuitive, okay, but we're going to say take that and then we're going to multiply them by each other. And we'll see the expression up there. Now we're going to compute. And so now we have the, this new variable, uh, which is the, the x squared. So we'll do our uh, statistics again with multiple linear regression. And our x values would be y digit, your digit, and your digit times itself. And our y value will be the oil reserves. And we'll calculate that. And we'll see here. That there's the intercept, that's the um, coordinate for the x value and, and then the multiplier for x squared, a negative 1.3. Okay, so now we're going to do the log 10, we're going to take the log 10 of oil reserves, and so we'll highlight those, and then we'll say, okay, we're going to transform our data. Um, here and so we'll take oil reserves we could take log 10 uh, oh I'm going to stop first just a second I'll just tell you one thing I usually do just to make sure I, I don't get mixed up is I'll just put 100 here and I know that the uh, the, the log of, of 100 is 2 you know 10 squared is 100 so the log of 100 is 2 and I'll just keep that in there to make sure I've, I've done this right. And I can take it out, no trouble. So we'll trans well, let's make sure we grab it all. Okay. I didn't do it again. All right, try it again. Come all the way down. Okay. Now we'll transform these data. And we'll say, okay, we're in oil reserves. And I want to take log 10. That's not right. 
I thought I had just a log 10. Doesn't, let's just assume that that's going to be the 10 log. And what did I not do? Oh, I didn't set the expression. Okay. Compute. All right, let's just see if there's a 2. There's not a 2. So we'll go back and do this again. And say, what did I do wrong here? Let's just delete the whole column. It's just an awful program. Why, why you can't... Here, let's just cut it. That's what we'll do. Control X. Alright, it's cut out. Let's try it again. Alright. Well, I just did this a minute ago, so... Let's see if, if I've lost it somewhere. Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay, now we'll compute. <clears throat> and we see that we have a 2 here. Now our data are fine. So now we're going to... Uh, have our um, x variable here predict these values we we'll do a simple linear regression on them the x values are the log 10 I'm sorry that's not right that's the log 10 the x values are the digit year now unlike Excel it goes ahead and reverses these. Uh, in Excel, you have to uh, go in and find the log of your intercept and slope. You have to do it backwards, but here it already does it for you. So in that, 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 as far as I'm concerned, an improvement of StatCrunch. And um, so that's the uh, exponential model. Let's do the uh, the auto regression. Now that just you know the book is really not very good for you for setting up these data. But what we're going to do is grab our X data and we're going to hit Control C. Okay, Control C. I'll hit Control V. Come over. One will come down. With Control V again, and then we'll hit Control V again. So we're lagging by one year. All right, and now. We don't want these values that aren't complete, so we're going to have a complete set of values across the row. And then we'll delete them here. And now we'll grab them all, cut them, Control X, put your cursor there, Control V. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to predict variable 7 here from these two variables. We're going to say this x essentially and predict it from a combination of the lagged values of, uh, well I'm sorry, y, okay? We're going to predict our y's from lagged values of our y. So this is the one that we're trying to predict. These are our two predictors. We're going to use a regression. It's going to be a multiple linear regression and we're going to predict our y which is variable 7 from our two other variables, x8 and x9. And when we do that, we get, we get the right values. Okay? So, that's how you do all of those in StatCrunch. I hope that's helpful to you. If it didn't answer all your questions, please let me know.